All right, so before we dive into individual components and really understanding how the synth works, let's take a quick overview of the entire device. Starting from the left over here, we have the two sequences, four steps per sequences, and then there's the polyrhythm section. The polyrhythm section works along with the master tempo here. So you define an overall tempo and you can create subdivisions of it for each of the rhythms. Don't worry if that doesn't make sense, we'll dive deeper eventually. All right, so sequencer polyrhythm section on the left over here, we have some buttons to assign the polyrhythms to the two sequences. You can see here it says SEQ1, SEQ2. So right now SEQ2 is on, which means this rhythm one knob is going to control sequencer two. Few buttons over here, which relate to the actual sequencer. So if I hit play here, the sequencer actually runs just hearing blips because I need to bring up the DK here. And if you just want to play the synth directly, there's a little trigger button. This is very helpful to quickly audition the sound, test it out. Though on a side note, you also can control the synth via MIDI. There is a MIDI input over here. You get a little 1 8 inch to 5 pin DIN adapter included in the synth. All right, so again, we'll dive deeper into these buttons later on. Let's talk about this middle section here, the core of the synth, the two oscillators. So the oscillator section has two oscillators and each of the two oscillators have two sub oscillators. And then you control the pitch up top here and you control the volume over here. Now the two oscillators are identical. The waveform selector, the level, the pitch, and all the sequencer assignment buttons, they're all identical. So if you understand how one works, the other one works exactly the same way. All right, moving on to the right over here. This is slightly simpler to understand. Your classic subtractive synthesis controls. So there's an overall volume control here. Filter cutoff, resonance. So there's a standard 24 dB per octave filter. And you can control that with these two knobs over here. There's a very basic envelope generator. In fact, you get two envelope generators. One is to control the overall amplitude and one is to modulate the filter frequency. And this knob controls the amount there. It's a bipolar knob. So leaving it in the center is gonna mean it's not going to work. And of course, on the right here, we have the patch bay. So this is a semi-modular synth, meaning you can create a lot of sounds without making any patch connections. But if you want to expand on the sound design capabilities, you can use the patch bay over here. All right, so that was a quick look at the synth. In the next tutorial, let's dive deeper into the oscillator section.